Hey there, my fallen ones, and I'm overjoyed to finally showcase this to all of you. It's an amazing game, Arrow of the Obelisk. My buddy Vetrek has been working on it for a very long time. Please stick with me throughout the whole video. I don't think we'll make it much longer than 15 odd minutes, and you guys are going to love this. This game is incredible. We're going to be going over some basic of the combat system, and Vetra here says hello. Go on, come talk here. <laughs> oh, another <laughs> Dave leave. <laughs> Some random other tester joined, whatever. Alright. Obviously, while we wait for Dave there to leave, this game is incredible. It's a very deep oak and rogue inspired game called Air of the Obelisk. There's a lot of monsters in the game, a lot of PV. We're going to be showing off a little bit of a dungeon at the end here. And there's a lot to go over here. So let me, let me, let me wait for Vetra to continue here. Either way. What do you have to say, Vetra? Vetra, okay. Hello, my name is Vetra. I'm the founder of Air of the Obelisk. By the way, microphone ain't working for him, so I will cover with the talking. We'll be going through a couple of weapons. There's the spear, the sword, the dagger, and the fist. It's also got the parry based system, so M1s, there's fainting, there's blocking, there's parrying if you tap it. And there's also posture system as well, with a critical attack for every ability, and they're all different as well. Alright then, let's get a move on over there. Vetra, you ready? Let's go, let's go use the dagger. All the weapons are over here. Use some admin commands and the little starting area we have here is amazing. We're going to be showing a lot of a lot of leaks at the end of the video where you're showing off some of the things that Vetra posts in the Discord. Or hasn't already, I don't really know. All the links to his Discords will be in the description below. I'll put it in the pinned comment as well as the description for those of you who are slow as I am. We'll be starting off at fist v fist, just to make it real simple for the starting here. I'll pick up my, my dagger just in case for later. In case I beat him somehow. <laughs> Alright, Vetra, you ready? This should be okay here. Let's get going now. Right, I'm not too great at the combat. I've done a little bit of warming up with some other guys earlier. I know some of the testers are good people. And, and there's a lot, and I mean a lot of testing opportunities right now. So if you do want to come a part of it, you know, just go join the Discord. It's pretty cool. Alright, I'm not too good. Vetra's definitely better at the fist than I am. I've gotten a little better with the spear, though, as of lately. Boom, boom. Harry, you can faint by the way. I'm gonna try fainting on him. There you go. He predicted the faint. No, <laughs> there is an invisible cooldown to the faint there, sadly. Whatever though. Hit him with a heavy attack. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, fist him. Oh no. <laughs> you can use F as well as right click to parry. I prefer right click, although F, having F and right click both be the same for it, it messed me up pretty bad earlier on. I just wish the parry window was a little smaller in this game. It's damn well confusing. <laughs> Get him with that there. Parry, ooh, and jump, heavy, oh, by the way, obviously the red boxes you're seeing, <laughs> those are just the hit boxes. you won't actually see them in the final product of the game, they're just here because it's a testing area, they will be removed later, because I know some of you will be like, wow, what are those red boxes, Brad, the game is terrible, it looks bad, <laughs> yeah, they do look, literally look like Lego blocks anyway. No, no, all right, you know, I'm not trying to shine on using the fist anyway. I will fist Vetra another day, unless I just unlocked Ultra Instinct here. Hold up, I might be him. There you go. I might be him falling one's way to moment. Come on, come on. Faint, and then I'm one him. There you go. That was a good faint there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this combat might not look too crazy, but it feels pretty insane to play as well. Obviously, the parry trades look pretty bad right now. That's because I'm not too good with the combat. And also, once they add mantras and get all the mantras in properly, and all of the abilities you can use, obviously the combat will be a little bit more mixed up. And there I go. <laughs> all right, we're going to get started with the dagger now. I use dagger. You use sword then. All right, let's get going here. I'll use the spear after him, and then we'll fight him with a sword. But we'll do it that way. It doesn't really matter. Come on, Vetra, you ready? There we go. He has his sword now. Time to duel of fates with the error of the obelisk deity now. Or the entity, not deity. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, expect a little bit of bugs there. I do like the endanger sign, by the way. This game having it a bit like deep poking. Your eyes water as adrenaline surges through your veins. Real damn cool there. I don't know. I can see this game being real damn amazing. And Vetra is a great dev. Termin one too. I hate that sword has the lunge ability though. It can lunge. Our critical on the dagger here. It's not like the other one. You get two parts to it. You do a little bit of a slash and then you do one more. Sort of like deep. There's a lot of good. There's gonna be a lot of deep poke comparisons in this video, believe it or not. All right then. I'll use. I use spear. You use dagger now. There we go. As for what the weapons balancing is, I'm not too sure. I think Vetra is trying to keep all them balanced other than regular fist, the cestus or the cestus, whatever you want to call it. 
I assume that will be pretty good rather than using regular fist. Although it doesn't work for me by him right now, whatever. I believe he has a death spec only. Let's go here, come on. I'm gonna get you Vetra. The Spears M2 is a lot like the dagger one. You do kinda two ticks there. Although I know Spear has way more range than anything else this game got to offer right now. Parry. Ooh, heavy. No! His heavy came out quicker there. Vetra. I need to I need to tag him with the longer M ones there. The longer M ones is gonna mess with him. It's like a it's like a heavyweight versus a lightweight. <laughs> I can just keep my range on him. I'm taller than you, Vetra. It's you're cooked. <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. One, two, no, Vetra, can you just die? <laughs> ah, get away. Tag him again. Yeah, the spear's pretty cheese, though. This guy needs to get real up in my face to fight me, and I think they need a nerf spears M1, like, spam or something. By that, I mean make it so the M1s are slower. The M1s are way too fast to deal with here. And you know what? I could eat dirt here, though, still. I'm acting like I'm gonna win. I think I'll win. Keyword, I think I'll win. I'm, I might be about to get abused, though. Who knows, really? There you go. I'm just a parry test for this guy right now. Come on. Mm, and faint. Oh, he won't even let me faint him. Bro. All right, there you go. Hit him with that. No. No, parry. Come on. Vetra, die, Vetra. <laughs> oh, I won't let this be the end for me. There you go. <laughs> That's real close there. At least you get a health back every time you kill somebody as well, though. Now I will be going over... Sword versus spear them. You ready, Vetra? Come on, Vetra. I will use the sword and he will use the spear. Should be a pretty good fight here. And then we'll move on to showing you all the Gorgon Husk. Very cool NPCs got working. Thinking of it as like the the basic stronger monster rather than the weaker one. We turn off the chat here. There we go. The heavy attack for the sword is a lot like the fist, just bigger hitbox. I do like the sword. The spear definitely feels like the meta right now, though, because Vetra's much better than me. He should not have lost there. <laughs> Get him with that there. Oh, goddamn, he's mixing me up with that thing. Oh, oh, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, I gotta lower it. Although the thing the sword has going for is that when you run NM1, you get a lunge that ragdolls. And when people are ragdolled, you are able to hit them, which makes this game a real a real bullying one, to be fair. Oh, yeah, I'm about to get cooked real early here, though. Vetra's a, he's a lot more proficient with that weapon than I am. Run back, and then M1 him. Oh, he parried it good there. And block. The combat feels great, though. GG to Vetra. I won one time. Let's go. All right, then. Also, we don't want to show the ice spawn in that simple AI from earlier. Just to show just to show all of you the, the simple AI he's got going for the game. It's pretty well done. I don't think it's finished, allegedly. It's not complete yet, but I will... He will show us the simple AI here. There's a lot of monsters we're going to show in a dungeon eventually. Right now, who's the AI right now? Let me try to get his attention on me here. He's pretty good at parrying. He uses his heavy pretty well. We'll wield the cheese in with a spear because he's not used to longer range, though, I'd imagine. And he can parry pretty good. And as any good AI is, he only parries sometimes to make you feel like a better player, even though I'm not that good at all. There you go. <laughs> pretty good AI going on there. I do love it. Vetra, now for the husk. We must show off the Gorgon husk, Vetra. You ready? And get going here. Gonna get going, sure. All right, then, let's go. Again, everybody, join the Discord server. They're trying to add a nice bit of members. There's a lot of testing opportunities. This game, I promise you, is going to go far. Easily. I can assure you all. It's going to do very well. Let's go fight the Gorgon, though. Come on, Vetra. Let's go. What, what's he doing over there? All right, I'll show you all. If you come over to the, the era of the obelisk over here, it will... Oh, no. I, 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 Vetra, okay. Well, if you break that, it spawns a husk. We're going to fight the normal one, though, as well here. <laughs> All right, then, Vetra. Get started on him. We'll spear duo him like the church knights. Oh, I believe he has free attacks. He has one where he rips up the ground, does a lot of damage. He has a regular punch. Yeah, there's the lift off the ground. You got to dodge that one. You got to parry the punch. And he also has an impale one where he uses the bone on his arm. And his fourth move is the ground slam. It's pretty nasty. He's a real cool looking guy. I like the model they made for him. Oh, I'm cooked. No. <laughs> Don't worry, Vetra. We'll kill him together. And when you kill him, he drops a vial, which gives you a little bit of Fleshwalker essence or something like that. I don't even really know. Oh, there you go, Parry. Mm, yo, yo. Don't worry, Vetra. I'm on my way. <laughs> we'll beat him together. I'm liking the spear, though, obviously. It's definitely the meta weapon. Along with the sword, if you're good with the lunge as well. And here it is, the vial he drops. I'm sure it'll be a little different on release, but 
There you go. We have the M1 it just a little bit. And once we break it, we get the Fleshwalker Essence. And when you have this, we are able to go over to the era of the Obelisk over here. And there's a lovely little fella. We can talk to him, give him the essence, and we go to the dungeon. And there we go, my fallen ones. You gotta give it to him. T, please don't hurt me. That's lovely. Thank you. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I do. Tragedy. And then you're up here. There's a door. You gotta break it down, though. I need to break open my individual there. <laughs> you walk into the dungeon after coming in here with those little pesky eyes looking at you. Open in the door. You pick up the lantern. And then you make your way right on through the dungeon. It's very well made. And I'll show it off if the video gets 100 likes alongside Vetra. There's monsters in here as well. Obviously, my fallen ones, I'd love to show you more of the game. There's so much more to go over, but the real reason we're not going over the dungeon yet is because get the video with 100 likes and we'll do a lot of the monster showcases, but there's a little bit, most of the dungeon is complete, and it looks amazing, it feels amazing to play, but, and there's a great escape route as well. As I was saying though, and the problem there lies a little bit of the AI is a little bit janky, so Vetra here wants to make sure it looks amazing before we showcase it, so sub like. Hi uh, everyone, if you're we're going to be showcasing a little bit of things on screen right here of the map as well as the monsters, there you go. I'll have them on a little bit of a slideshow though. They look very cool. Vetra's an incredibly talented dev, please go join his Discord and support him. I see this as the next big permadeath game on Roblox. Alongside that little, that little Demon Boy game I've been advertising for too, but keep it between me and you. I, I like this one a little bit more, because a little bit more inventive. <laughs> Alright then, with all those pictures out of the way. Any closing words? Any closing words, Vetra? There we go. What do you have to say to the audience, Vetra, before we end here? Please go join the Discord for the last time there. <laughs> the video does get 100 likes, though. Let him feel like a motivated fella. Him, him and his dev team, they go pretty hard. No closing words from Vetra. Hope you all enjoyed. And that was the Era of the Obelisk. Not sure what I'll title it, but it was quite the showcase there.